Hello, and welcome to the Demoet series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. In this Demoet, we discuss privileges in TDV. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining TDV privileges and outlining their importance for our customers. Next, we walk through a very basic demo of TDV privileges. Finally, we summarize the contents of this demoet. Let's begin by discussing what TDV privileges are and why they are important for our customers. TDV privileges are resource-specific capabilities that may be granted to groups and users. Resource privileges fall into three broad categories. For developers, privileges specify who may read or write the resource. For system administration, the grant privilege specifies who may give privileges on a resource to other users. At runtime, privileges specify the users and groups who may perform SQL selects, inserts, updates, and delete operations, as well as execute operations for scripts. Note that the read privilege is the only privilege that affects both runtime and design time behavior. At runtime, read privileges are necessary to enable external clients to see a resource. TDV privileges are important for TDV developers, system administrators, and IT managers. At development time, privileges prevent unauthorized developers from accessing resources, while ensuring that authorized developers may access and modify resources needed during development. During ongoing operations, privileges enable system administrators to control access to resources for users and groups. This, in turn, gives IT managers assurance that TDV provides appropriate levels of security, along with the flexibility needed for the data needs of a large, complex enterprise. TDV implements both rights and privileges. They are often discussed together, but it is important to understand the difference between the two. Rights and privileges are similar in that they both typically managed by TDV system administrators. They are also similar in that they are both capabilities that are granted to TDV groups and users. However, rights are system-wide capabilities while privileges are capabilities that are granted at the resource level. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo of TDV privileges. Here is the business problem we illustrate in this demoet. Our developers have built and published many views, including a canonical view of product transactions that is the main focus of this demo. System administrators, of course, can access all of these published views because of their extensive TDV rights. However, we also have a product group, and members of this group should only be able to see the canonical view of product transactions. The car file for this demo is found in the additional resources that accompany the demoette. Before running this demo, we must create a user whose privileges we can restrict and expand as needed. Open TDV Manager and create a new group called demoet underscore no rights. Give this group no rights of any kind. Next, create a user named underpriv, again with no rights. Make underpriv a member of the demoet no rights group. Note that if you have run this demo previously, you will want to delete this group and user and then recreate them. This will ensure that no assigned privileges from a previous execution of the demo will interfere with the current demo. In addition, make sure that the level 2 canonical view from the imported car file is published, as shown here. Now we are ready to show how a data consumer would access these published resources. Here we use Squirrel, a popular SQL utility. We log in as an admin user with full TDV rights and we have unrestricted access to the published view. Now log into Squirrel again as the user underpriv. This user has neither rights nor privileges, so no published view is visible. This is what we would expect to see since underpriv has no TDV rights, and we have not yet assigned him any privileges for the published resource. Conceptually, proper assignment of privileges can be quite complex, because it affects TDV resources in two different dimensions. 
First, we must assign privileges across the parent-child hierarchy that is shown by the TDV Studio namespace. If we want a group to have privileges on a view, we must also grant privileges to the hierarchy of folders that contain the view. Similarly, we must grant privileges on the columns that are children of the view. We must also consider the hierarchy of containers in the published database service, such as database, catalog, and schema. We might think of this dimension as a vertical assignment of privileges. In addition, we must consider the lineage of the view, assigning appropriate privileges to all ancestors and descendants in the chain of resources that make up the published resource. We might think of this dimension as a horizontal assignment of privileges. One option is to assign privileges within TDV Studio. We can right-click any resource and define the appropriate privileges on that resource for any group or user. By using the options shown here, we can also control how privileges are propagated across both the vertical and horizontal dimensions of other related resources. However, this approach can be confusing in a complex scenario because we don't have a single view of privileges across all involved resources. For a simpler and more comprehensive approach to assigning privileges, we can use TDV Manager's Resource Management pages. Here we select the Published Resource and click View Privileges. We can see that the Demoet No Rights group has no privileges on this resource. We click the checkbox for this group and then click Edit Privileges. We can now add Read Privileges for the specific resource. We have added read privileges for the published resource, but we still need to add appropriate privileges for all the related resources. The Edit Resource Dependency page shows us the specific privileges we need to add. We simply click the appropriate checkboxes to add the privileges. When we finish adding privileges to this page, we see a message at the bottom that tells us we have the privileges we need. However, this message only applies to the current page. Note that there are two pages of dependencies in this example. We have to make sure we deal with all dependencies, so we move to the second page. Here we see additional resources that need read and or select privileges. When we click these checkboxes, our privilege assignment is complete. We now know that we have assigned all necessary privileges. Equally important, we know that we have not assigned any extra unnecessary privileges that might lead to security issues. Now, when our underpriv user signs in as an external client, he sees the table and data for which he has privileges. We can now go back to TDV Studio and look at the privileges for any involved resource and see the exact privileges that are assigned for any group or user. Our demo is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this presentation. TDV privileges are resource-specific capabilities that may be granted to groups and users. Resource privileges fall into three broad categories. For developers, privileges specify who may read or write the resource. For system administration, the grant privilege specifies who may give privileges on a resource to other users. At runtime, privileges specify the users and groups who may perform SQL selects, inserts, updates, and delete operations, as well as execute operations for scripts. Note that the read privilege is the only privilege that affects both runtime and design time behavior. At runtime, read privileges are necessary to enable external clients to see a resource. TDV privileges are important for TDV developers, system administrators, and IT managers. At development time, privileges prevent unauthorized developers from accessing resources while ensuring that authorized developers may access and modify resources needed during development. During ongoing operations, privileges enable system administrators to control access to resources for users and groups. This, in turn, gives IT managers assurance that TDV provides appropriate levels of security, along with the flexibility needed for the data needs of a large, complex enterprise. Thank you.